Hi everyone, this is Sarah of the HealthyHomeEconomist.com and I'm welcoming you to my kitchen once again. What I'm going to show you in this segment is how to make jello, healthy jello. And um, kids love jello, don't they? It's one of the most wonderful uh, desserts of childhood. And unfortunately, the jello you get from the store is anything but healthy. It's not good for you. It may taste good, but all it really is is gelatin, sugar, and artificial flavors and colors. And it's guaranteed to make your kids hyper and give them a runny nose pretty quickly. So I don't recommend any of the jellos from the store. But jello can be healthy. It can be a very healthy dessert and a healthy treat for your kids. Um, you just need to know how to make it yourself. And what I would recommend is that you make it with fresh juice. Um, fresh squeezed juice is full of enzymes, it's full of nutrition, and um, it can be a wonderful treat for your kids if you make it into jello. So I'm going to show you how to, today how to make uh, jello from fresh apple juice. And what I did is I went ahead and I bought a, a three pound bag of organic apples from the health food store, small gala apples like this. And I've gone ahead and I've juiced most of them already. Um, I've had a, I've got a couple of uh, cups of fresh apple juice right here in the bowl. And I'm going to juice these last three uh, apples really quickly. And I'm um, using a, the Jack Lane Power Juicer here. Those of you who have seen my previous videos know that I have a Champion Juicer also, but I actually just use my Champion Juicer to grind grain. I have a grain attachment for that. But for actual juicing, I find that the, the Jack Lane is much better than the Champion. It gets a lot more juice out, the pulp is a lot drier, and so you get more juice um, for uh, per piece of produce. You have to juice a lot more with the Champion Juicer and you kind of waste a lot because the pulp is, is very wet. But the Jack Lane is really good at getting all the juice out and so that's why I use it for making my fruits and vegetable juices. So let me turn this on. I'm going to quickly juice. I also like it because I don't have to chop the vegetables up. It's got a big chute and I can just throw the stuff in there and, and uh, it saves me some time when I'm juicing. So let me juice these um, last three gala apples really quickly and then we'll go ahead and make the jello. We have another cup of apple juice fresh apple juice, I recommend again that you, you make it fresh. You can get organic juice from the store, but it's been pasteurized and the enzymes are gone. Much of the delicate nutritional cofactors have been destroyed by the pasteurization. So I don't recommend that. You know, in a pinch, that's fine, but really take the time to make some fresh juice if you're gonna, if you're gonna take the time to make jello. Okay, so I've got three cups of fresh apple juice in this bowl. And the next thing you're going to need is plain unflavored gelatin. And I have, uh, I use the Great Lakes unflavored gelatin. It is um, from the health food store. You can also get Bernard, I think it's um, Jensen's. I think it's Jensen's uh, beef gelatin. Those are the only two brands I've really ever seen. But uh, this is the one uh, that my health food store carries. And it is kosher. Not. So, um, what you need to do is it takes one tablespoon of, of plain unflavored gelatin to gel a pint of liquid. So since I have three cups here, that's a pint and a half of liquid. So I have a tablespoon and a half of the plain gelatin in here. And I'm going to show you how to dissolve this so you don't have any lumps in your jello. You want to take a tea kettle full of boiling water, and please don't boil this water in the microwave. <laughs> I just hate microwaves. They, 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 uh, they destroy the, the water molecules. So make sure that you um, just boil it naturally on the stove uh, with regular uh, heat, normal heat. And then just pour your boiling water into your gelatin and dissolve it quickly. And you're going to probably say, well, is she going to pour that boiling gelatin into the liquid here? And uh, I would say that there's so much cold liquid or room temperature liquid here that when you pour this in it really doesn't heat this up much at all. So you're not going to have to worry about any enzymes being destroyed there 
when you pour in this uh, liquid gelatin. So the next thing you're going to do is pour this in and stir quickly as you pour it in. Just mix it up nicely and you're done. You take this bowl and refrigerate it overnight and in the morning you will have apple juice jello and you can scoop it out of the bowl into little little cups for your children's lunches. They can be snacks. Um, you mix it, put it with some homemade ice cream and it's a wonderful, wonderful treat. Lots of healthy enzymes and nutrition still in there. I hope you've enjoyed this segment of our uh, video for this week and I uh, wish you all the best in the kitchen. This is Sarah, the Healthy Home Economist.